Hello, Maureen O'Hara here from Premier Wine Training. I'm standing here in Quinta de Francaise, which is just outside Portimao in the Algarve on the southern coast of Portugal, where I'm finding that uh, the quality of red wines in particular is actually really, really surprising me. They're fantastically well made. This particular vineyard was actually uh, excavated purposely um, to, to plant vines, unlike a lot of the vineyard areas in this region. And if you look at the soil of this area, it's actually very unique. What you have here is a schist type of soil, which is the same type of soil that you would find in the Douro Valley. And they've planted the vineyards up with a mixture of uh, red grape varieties, Cabernet Sauvignon, Syrah, Trincadera and Aragonese. And even early on, the quality of the wines was actually recognised by the likes of the International Wine Challenge and many other prestigious wine awards. Um, the, so the grapes are all picked by hand. They come into the winery here and they're all sorted by hand so that only the best quality grapes come through. Um, the red wines then are uh, macerated or they're left to steep on the skins for a couple of weeks just to draw the colour out of it. And then the wines are fermented and after which they're aged in oak and it is mostly French oak. The better quality wines, the Quinta de Francaise, uh, gets to get aged in brand new oak and the smell of that lovely toasty um, vanilla comes through in the winery when you walk down into the actual cellar. You can smell all of that coming through. Um, so Quinta de Francaise is their top wine and it is very, very elegant, very Bordeaux-like in style. What you'll find are these lovely um, earthy, lead, cedary characters coming through on the nose and on the palate. And there's a lovely texture, there's a lovely velvetiness to this wine. It's quite full bodied. Um, it's the 2010 has just been bottled a couple of, uh, but a few weeks ago, but actually um, it's actually drinking really, really well now and will continue to age in bottle for about 15 years. So if you're in the area, I'd very much recommend that you come down and visit this winery and talk to Tanya here who'll show you around and uh, you'll have a lovely afternoon.